Muhammad Ghori was an ambitious leader. He was the younger brother of the ruler of Qadgasuddin who handed the responsibility to Ghori to rule over Ghazni in 1173. Add, but Ghori being a very ambitious ruler was not satisfied with only Ghazni and wanted to expand his empire to get hold of more power and control and wanted to conquer India. He was well aware of India's political, religious, social and military weaknesses and also the enormous wealth and gold that India had. He wanted to attain more power and more wealth. He also had the desire to spread Islam in India by conquering the Hindus of the country. Thus, for all these reasons, he carried out a number of invasions to take over India. Conquest of Multan and Sindh 1175 to 1178. The first invasion of Muhammad Ghori was in 1175 AD when he attacked Multan defeated the ruling Ismailian heretics and was successful in capturing Multan. From Multan he captured Uchinapa Sindh in 1178 AD and established a fort there. He also conquered Lower Sindh later and Haiwara capital of Gujarat 1178. During the same year he also invaded Gujarat but suffered defeat from Gujarat ruler Bhimdev at the Battle of Kayadra. This was his first invasion against a Hindu ruler in India and he had to go back to his kingdom. Conquest of Punjab and Lahore 1179-1186 Muhammad Ghori realized that the main place to conquer India was not Sindh and Multan but Punjab. In 1179 ED he captured Peshawar. In 1181 ED he attacked Khusra Malik who did not fight against him and gave him gifts as compensation and also his son as a hostage. In 1185 AD Guri invaded Punjab once again and this time he looted the countryside and occupied the fort of Sialkot. Khusra Malik took the help of Khokars to take over Sialkot but was not successful. In 1186 AD Muhammad Khori attacked Punjab once again and this time he besieged Lahore. The first battle of Tarin 1191 in 1191 to conquer the whole of India. Ghori marched towards Delhi and he captured Sirand. It was the Rajput king of Delhi and Ajmer Pridhaviraj Chauhan who put up a brave fight with his soldiers against Ghori in Tarin a place near Karnataka in the present Haryana state of India. In this first battle of Tarin Ghori was badly injured and defeated and he had to retrace back his steps. The second battle of Tarin 1192 In 1192 AD Muhammad Ghori invaded India again. This time he came with an army of 120,000 soldiers which also included the help of Turks, Afghans, Persians. In the second battlefield of Tarin Pridhaviraj Johan could not restrain the strong army of Khori. Muhammad Khori defeated Pridhaviraj. He was captured and killed. Thus Khori was successful in capturing Delhi and Ajmer. The battle against Jai Chandra Thor in Kanuaj 1194 AD. Jai Chandra Thor, the king of Kanuaj was not in good terms with Pridhavi Chauhan and was happy when he was captured and killed. But in 1194 AD when Muhammad Khori invaded India again this time he attacked Kannauj and defeated Jai Chandra Thor in the battlefield of Chandavar. After this invasion Kutabuddin Naibik became the Vaisarok of Muhammad Khori. After this while Khori returned back to the west to carry out his conquests in the western frontiers Kutabuddin Naibik continued his conquests in India. Conquests of Gujarat Bundelkhand, Bengal and Bihar 1195-1202 AD Kutabuddin Naibak attacked Bhindev king of Gujarat. He was defeated first but in the next battle he defeated Bhimdev and conquered Gujarat. His next target was Bundelkhand ruled by the Chandel Rajputs. He defeated them also and conquered Bundelkhand. During this time Muhammad Khilji a slave of Muhammad Ghori attacked Bihar in 1197 and Bengal in 1202. Two. Both Bengal and Bihar came under the control of Khori and Kilji became the Vesara of Bengal and Bihar. Revolt of Khokars 1205 AD In 1205 Khori again came to India and this time the Khokars stood against him. But he defeated them. Shahabuddin Ghori finally brought an end of Ghaznavud Empire and established the dynastic rule. He had no son to succeed him as a ruler but had Turkish slaves. After his assassination his empire was divided 
it amongst his slaves. In 1206 his most famous slave Qutbuddin Ibek established Sultanate of Delhi and became Sultan. In 1210 Eden Asiruddin Kabacha became the ruler of Multan. Tajuddin Eldos became the ruler of Ghazni. In 1206 when Ghori was going to Ghazni he was killed by someone in Hamid district of Chelem in Pakistan.